I have a philosophy that wine should reflect the grapes that you make the wines with. Um, we also are trying to make wines that are fun. People don't have to sit down and think about, uh, which I think is definitely one of the philosophies of Breathless, is that we want those breathless moments that uh, are fun. Um, you're not thinking about it. This is what makes your life what it is. One of the things as I was learning uh, the craft uh, was how to use the grapes in the best way possible. I tend not to do a lot to those grapes uh, because of that uh, philosophy. Um, so I really let that kind of shine through and, and make the wines themselves on some level. Method Champenoise is the traditional method that is used in the region of Champagne. Uh, what that means is that there's yeast added to the wine that then ferments and creates the bubbles, which are the fun part of the wine. It is a very natural process. The yeast that I use uh, also helps to uh, enhance the grapes. Other than that, uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. Grapes come in, uh, are uh, pressed. Uh, there are certain levels of pressing, so we want to press these actually fairly lightly. Uh, what that does is help to eliminate any harshness out of the skins. From there, the juice is then taken. It's fermented with uh, yeast. Um, once it finishes fermenting, uh, it's then um, kind of uh, left to rest a little while. Uh, from there is then um, another yeast and a little bit of sugar is added to it uh, and that is then the fermentation in the bottle. From there it finishes fermenting. Um, we let it rest a little bit longer so that we can get some of the benefits of the yeast which helps to enhance mouthfeel, um, smooth the wine out a little bit, make it a little creamier. Um, once we've determined that it's at the point that we want, uh, as far as the creaminess and the yeast character, uh, then we will uh, riddle it, which what that does is helps to uh, put all of the yeast into the neck of the bottle, uh, that then it can be frozen and expelled and clean wine little sugar again added just to kind of balance it out a little bit make it very drinkable and fun um, that's pretty much the end of the process the packaging the cork and everything goes in at that point as well um, so a, a little bit lengthier than a still wine might be uh, but also brings a lot more fun What's really fun about sparkling wine that you don't get with a still wine is that the bubbles are, are born in the bottle. Uh, that second fermentation happens all in the bottle and it never leaves that bottle. So it stays there all the way to the end. I really like to talk to the people that belong to the brand. And I hope that the wines then always reflect the, the team of people or the person that is uh, wanting that wine made. So myself as a winemaker likes to work very closely with the, the people that own the brand, uh, have the brand, uh, and reflect whatever those personalities are. Uh, so with this one I was talking about kind of the fun uh, there's these three sisters that have a brand that they want people to enjoy and have fun with and hopefully bring those breathless moments, uh, help those uh, moments come along for them. So when I'm crafting a wine, I'm looking at that. Does somebody want something very traditional that comes from France? Um, and then what personality kind of goes with that? With this, um, the, the philosophy of the brand and being a little more natural, not that all sparkling wines aren't natural, but that I really want the, the flavor and the fun of those grapes and the personality of those grapes to really come out and, and reflect, uh, reflect the, the team. 
there's one of them that is 100% Pinot Noir. The others are a blend of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. Um, those are the traditional grapes that would be used in France in the Champagne region as well. So the Brut would be that blend of the Pinot Noir and the Chardonnay. Uh, the Rosé would reflect more of the Pinot Noir and then the Blanc de Noir that would reflect just the, the Pinot Noir grape. Um, so with that you see the profiles of the grapes where um, the Pinot Noir tends to have a lot of berry notes and a little strawberry to it, a little watermelon. Uh, the Chardonnay brings a little pear, a little apple. And so the Brut is this, this incredible blend of, you know, a little bit of kind of berry and a little bit of apple, uh, um, a little bit of grapefruit, also citrus. Uh, and then the, the Pinot Noir um, kind of flavors that uh, come out with the Blanc de Noir that um, is a little more kind of red raspberry or um, dark cherry. Uh, and then the rosé that is just fresh strawberry and, and a little bit of uh, uh, red raspberry to it. So, but those are all reflections of the grape again.